we are, sweetheart. Your new home. Oh, darling. How nice. I'm glad you like it. Been waiting for you since the day I built it. <laughs> six and six, huh? Thank you very much. You know, your house is like you. How do you mean, Austria? With a twinkle behind the facade. Come and meet your new family. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, hello, Martha. Oh, Mr. Linden, welcome back. And this is Mrs. Linden. Oh, Mrs. Linden, ma'am, welcome home. I should kiss you, Father. You see, I'm very French. Oh, Mrs. Linden, ma'am, you're most welcome. But where's Jennifer? Oh, she, she was just getting dressed, sir. Yes, I can hear that. Jennifer! Well, she must have heard us come in. Jenny! She's probably shy of meeting me, seeing I'm some sort of dragon. <laughs> She's got a big shock coming. I'll go and fetch her. You look wonderful. Three months. The longest I've ever been away. Seemed like years. Yes, it did. Well, uh, how's the art school? It's cool. Studies going well? Fine. Congratulations on your marriage. Thank you, Jenny. Come and meet her. Admire my taste? Perhaps now the house won't seem so, um, what was the word? Dreary. Dreary, yes. Perhaps now it'll seem more fun for you. Hmm? Don't you think so, Jennifer? Nicole, this is Jennifer. I'm so happy to see you at Piaggio. Hello. Uh, I'm sure you two will have a lot in common. I hope we have everything in common, Jennifer. Everything? That's a lot, isn't it? No, what I mean is you won't be so lonely anymore. How does that sound? Fine. When would you like dinner, sir? Oh, from now on, you'll have to ask Mrs. Linden questions like that, Martha. What do you see, Minnie, sir? In half an hour? That's okay. Would that be all right for you, Martha? Oh, yes, ma'am. Jennifer, why can't you sit up properly? I like floors. You know, I think Martha's really quite taken to you. Don't you, Jenny? Suppose so. I haven't thought about it. What is the name of your school? It's in Markings. One of the best, isn't it? Rumor has it. Jenny's always had a talent for illustration. She really draws very well indeed. It must be fun doing something you like and are good at. Those in the time. Darling, what is in that huge box over there? A body? That's just about it. Only that's more like a skeleton in the cupboard. It's my toy, and Jennifer's jealous of it. Jealous? The stupid city. The city? Superman stuff, and then some. What are you both talking about? Well, now, you wouldn't say that I was exactly old-fashioned, would you? But Jennifer thinks I'm too modern. Strictly as an architect. In every other sense, a square. A square? A little while ago, I was a creep. Show me the cité, please. You'll be sorry. <laughs> she may be right, you know. If I get my city out, you'll be up till dawn. It's my life's work. It's meant more to me than anything in the world. Hasn't it, Jenny? Yes. That's true. Come, I'll show it to you. It's a model. I call it City 2000. Grime, filth, poverty, noise, hustle and bustle, these things would be unknown. An almost silent place, 
soundproofed for the use of flying beveled walls of concrete, which also serve to cut wind and rain. Jennifer says it'll be like living in a tin can, but uh, I don't think that's really true. You know, psychologists think that most human neurosis come from too much contact with other humans. Now, in my city, Darling. a man can be as alone as if he were 10,000 miles from anywhere in the country. Paul, hmm? I'd like to see Jennifer to bed. Oh, well, she can put herself to bed. I'll be right back. I want to know everything by heart. All right, darling, don't be long. What is it? What is it? Why have you taken such a dislike to me? I'm not to blame for your father's divorce. It was long before he ever met me. I didn't I didn't like you. Don't be childish. Why not? I am a child. You know perfectly well what I mean. Your father calls your behavior deplorably rude. I prefer to think you're just upset. Naturally, I'm upset. All young girls are upset when their father brings home a new wife. Now, if you don't mind, uh... Jennifer? Uh, I've brought you some things from Paris. Dresses and... We don't wear dresses very often. We're different. Not so different. Most young people in Paris prefer flags and sweaters. I wear them myself in the house. You can see if you like any of mine. I've got everything. And this is anything else I want? I just have to ask for it. Anything you'd like to borrow? Go ahead. Help yourself. We're about the same size. A new cardigan? I have 19 I never wear. See? But if I feel like 20? Cardigan number 20 coming up. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a life class in the morning. What's the matter? Embarrassed? Why? I've got a nice figure. want the full treatment? Sleep well. Stepmother. Good night, Jennifer. And don't kid yourself he's in love with you. He's in love with 32,000. I love your city. Well, it's just the way a city ought to be. Not a hodgepodge of littered up archaicism of century piled upon century, but something for modern man starting from scratch. You know they're going to build this one in South America? Paul, mm -hmm. I love you. Yes, I know, darling. What? I love you, Paul. Oh, darling. And I'll never let City 2000 keep us up till dawn. Tonight or any other night.
Hey, you. Take a place, daddy -o. You and your phony beatnik friends. I said take a place. Okay, okay, there are other dolls. So you made it, Granny. Managed to give them the slip. Well, well. First night the old man's home. Who's Brian Lou? You're the most. You're real catch, yeah? Yeah, the light foot eyes. Easy stuff. Hey, what's she like, this big bad Frenchie? She's French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strictly in that. Yeah, dig me. I'm a cat from the Can Can Kennel Club. A real live Parisian poodle pompadour. Is she old? Ancient. 24. <coughs> You're at it again. Well, it helps. Look, I got it from the chemist. Yeah, you're sure there's nothing in it. No kicks on it. Of course not. It's strictly for coughs. Yeah. Hey, Jen. 24's not too bad. How can she be so square if she's French and only 24? How can you be so square when you're only 18? Because it rubs off you onto me. Tell us, Jen. What does she say? Nothing to tell. Pure lonely hearts routine. <laughs> Just as though we'd never met the word a day. What you told me, a day. What you told me, I can't forget. I'm crying yet for you. Well, I threw away your photo, just like you told me to. I put your letters in the fire and got one back from you. Oh, well, I did. What you told me, yes, I did. What you told me. I can't forget, I'm crying yet for you. Hang on, fellas, one time. the dance hall, listen to the noise. I try to kid myself, I'm having fun there with the boy. Yes, I did. What you told me? Yes, I did. What you told me? I can't forget. I'm crying yet for you. Come on, Hey, baby, you feel Tepsy Coracle? Let's go downstairs and fly, huh? <laughs> come on, Dave. No, I'm staying here. Oh, come on. Uh, that board's got it coming to.
Jennifer, for goodness sake, hurry up. She knows how important my conference is. She's just coming, darling. The school is right on the way to the conference. Don't fuss. You won't be late. What should I ever do without you, darling? What about him killing Jennifer in the dinner party tonight? You want help with a South American tycoon? She's pretty young, you know. But very pretty. Very the foreign office man, too. You'll be busy flirting with his wife. <laughs> You know, the contract for City 2000 should be signed this morning. It would be like a sort of celebration tonight. I'd rather like Jenny to share it with us. Oh, where is that charge? You'll have to go by bus. No, oh, Paul, please. Jennifer, hurry up. Jennifer, I'll pick you up at lunchtime. Lunch? Don't tell me you're letting me down. I forgot. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. I'll collect you at school. Linden. Linden? Yes, about your age. A blonde, a round face, with long hair. Oh, yes, Jennifer, the crazy one. Part of that beatnik crowd. Beatnik? It's a gimmick from America. Hopeless and soapy. Where could I find her? There's a cafe in Soho called the Offbeat. She's always there. The Offbeat? Thank you. This'll take care of it. But that crazy juice don't help them. Why don't you just say a quack? Oh, drop dead. You sound like you're going to. I wish my old man would. Running nervous like I did mine. Here, fool. What, him? An army-type general? They don't fall, man. They only write memoirs. Yeah. My war on three brothers. Five editions. Still going strong. Creep. Still, he's good for the green. Show us what you've got today. That'll do, man. Keep money to for another few years. Hey, Gas, are you looking for me? Fall down, juvenile. Bad. Bad. Oh, you're such a notch, aren't you? I'm relaxed. She's on the button. I'll say. What's she doing here? You kidding? I bet she's meeting that guy that runs the strip joint across the road. He's always looking for new talent. What's new about that? Yeah. They're all the same yeah. shape. Flash More or less. That's a pound travel in the 2 o'clock, 2.30 and 3 o'clock. All right? Yeah, now, partly fracked, I want Daisy Wood in the 3 o'clock and any department. Some walk. That's what I call material. We were going to have lunch together. So we were. I called that one as I said I would. Lunch wasn't my idea. I realize that. Hey, listen to that wretched English. It's the Paris poodle. More like a bloodhound. May I sit down? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, please do. A swinging cat like you is always welcome. How do I get a stepmother like you? Simple. I'm a father like Jennifer. Oh, I've got a father, but uh, he's weighed down by medals. Rose and Rose. He's so old, he's a general. Old and dull, too. Jennifer's father is neither. He's still a young man. Hey, Jen. You told us she was Robin the Great, man, you old man. 
I said she was Gwen Antios. Antios, that's what she said. What about jazz, you dig? Hawk is all right, but I prefer murder. East or West Coast? West. Which one? Dev Brubeck for me. She's crazy, too. You are a musician? Somewhat. I'd like to hear you. That's easy if you can hear at all. You can play it cool, and he sings, too. He sends me over and out. Please, sing. Though, for you, anything. Any time, anywhere. But I'm gonna rock it. All right. I'm listening. Stop it, Dave. Why do you come here and embarrass me like this? Embarrass you? Don't I have a right to my own life? I start of your business. Well, family now. Coming here. Making as if you know the score. East Coast, West Coast, Dave Brubeck. You got that out of my book. Don't you rather I try to share your life? I won't be spied on. That's the last thing I meant to do. I know why you married my father. It's because he's famous and he's rich. He can give you the things you want. Play it down, though. Relax. Thank you. You're good. I mean, the most. But stepmother, you've only just arrived in the moment the dance begins. You got the stepmother mixed up with Cinderella. Paul told you about dinner? Not sure I can make it. Do try. So we can discuss my report card with Daddy? There won't be any report. Nicole. Hey, you dig that one? That's Greta. They call her the Duchess, because when she pills, she makes like she's doing you a favor. Pills? Come on, I have pigeon. She strips across the street in lay girl club. 17 shillings, that's what the suckers pay for seeing her in a birthday suit. Just imagine wicked old Frenchie knowing abroad like that. Yes, just imagine. Daddy would be most interested. I owe you a great deal, Your Excellency. I never thought you'd get it through. The opposition had to oppose or they would be out of business. That is politics, part of the game. But I can tell you, now that the contract is signed and sealed, they will be very pleased. As HM's counselor on the spot, I can tell you the leader of the opposition confirmed that himself. Not a man I care to deal with. Well, my brother, you know, he went in for politics. A slippery customer. The ambassador and your husband are just having a nightcap. Something for you? No, thank you. It's a shame to leave so early, but we're flying back at the crack of dawn. Oh, I'll hurry them up. You're fond of music? If it's beat? Jazz, you know. Oh, of course. I hear they're dancing the Charleston again. Shades of my youth. Only dead. Not the real cat. That's what I call Jenna's expressive language. Fred, I was very silly, but scruffy bar. I must confess, I've never been in a coffee bar. No, neither have I. Nicole has. We had lunch in one today. Yes, it was fun. I believe some of those places can be awful. This was charming, full of young people, art students. And dancers. One was an old friend of Nicole's. Yes, somebody I knew years ago. I don't even remember her name. Her name is Greta. Oh, of course. They call her the Duchess. Very mysterious. Is she really a Duchess? Hardly. She's a dancer of sorts. Your Excellency, may I suggest... Yes, we must go. It has been a delightful evening, and now I hope we shall see you and your husband more often in my country. Go on. You look very pretty tonight, Jennifer. I stayed and talked to your friend, Greta. Clearly. She remembered your right. Jennifer, did I hear her right? Who is this woman? What did you talk about? We talked about striptease. You talked about what? Striptease. But if that's what she does, she's Nicole's friend. I haven't seen her for years. She works with me girls. It's quite a dump. She's
She must be pretty low. That's enough. They call her the Duchess. Imagine, a stripping Duchess. Poor Greta. I had no idea she had sang so low. Just imagine it, Daddy. Every time the course friend strips, over a hundred dirty old men crowd into a little room to watch her. And they pay 17 shillings each. That's a lot of money, isn't it? Where did you learn all this? It is terrible. Terrible. Fred, I used to be so talented. So ambitious. All she could ever talk about was her career. We began in the ballet together. Ballet? Do you mind? If either of you were ever on your point, then I'm a tightrope walker. Jennifer! Did you tell her I had been a dancer? No, we, uh, we haven't had much time to discuss things yet. You must teach me some steps for one day, Nicole. I doubt if there is much I could teach you. You could always try. Take it up, take it up, get the boys in the rear, and she unzips the zipper. Oh, Nicole, what is this all about? Nothing. Nothing. Darling, you don't like her, do you? I don't like her. I can't understand her. She hates me. She's hated me ever since I set foot in this house. Oh, I didn't think so, darling. Why won't you face it? That's what I'm trying to do. So let's get back to this old friend of yours. The one that told Jennifer about the striptease. I told you about her. Yes, but there's more, isn't there? Isn't there, Nicole? I told you we were in ballet together. Now she has altered her way of life. I'm not responsible for what she has become. Look, I didn't say that. There are lots of things that happened to us before we met. Can't we talk about them sensibly? The same all over the world, Paul. Girls start off together. Some go straight, others go bad. Greta was unlucky. With me, it was different. I met you and I fell in love. As simple as that? Just as simple as that. Nice, doesn't she, kid? Like to go in with me and see her? Creep shovel. Now, girly, is that a nice way to talk? For grown-ups, kid. I've got money. Here. You could be the Bank of England. You still wouldn't be old enough. I want to go home to Mummy. I've got to see Greta. We have a date. I have to see her. Oh? What's your name? Nicole. Just a minute. Call Greta. Greta? The young lady is that you got a date with you. Name of Nicole. Okay. This way. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, for me. The tickets. 
last plan Saturday night. Why you want to go to Paris, I don't know. It's corny. Brighton's corny too, but it's nearer. Yes, but Paris does things for a girl. Why blame Paris? Out there with Peter, quite the dish. Oh? Careful, it's jailbait. You've got a filthy mind, haven't you? Oh, I know. Nauseating, isn't it? You'll have to divorce me, darling. Nicole made me think you were somebody I knew. Nicole married my father. Oh. Well, there's more than one Nicole in the world. I was with her in the offbeat this afternoon. So what does that prove? Where do I come into this? She told me you once worked together. I don't know what you're talking about. Was it a joint like this? I know, kid, don't bother me. I'm busy. How did you like it when she cut you dead? Oh, Marge, you're gone. Clear off. What you so frightened of? Is it of you or is it... Now, look here, kid. Forget all this Nicole business. I made a mistake. We all make mistakes. I don't know any Nicole. Now, clear out of here when you've got the chance. What's the hurry, Grit? Bring the little lady into my office and we'll all have a nice little chat. has been holding out on you. I wanted to know about a friend of hers called Nicole. Mm-hmm. Well, supposing you put me in a picture. Nicole's my stepmother. Oh. Did you know her, Greta? Or did you? We used to work together in Paris. Was it so hard to tell the child that? Or maybe you worked in a strip club. Did you strip? When I came here with you. Get out. Get out! Do you think there's more? Oh, yes. When Greta sets her mind to it, she'll tell you anything you want to hear, anything at all. Well, goodbye for now. About. It happens to be three o'clock. No, it's not. It's five two, and I'm tired. Come in here. Well, where have you been? Out. Jennifer, I'm trying to keep my temper, but I'm finding it very difficult. I've been with friends, aren't they? When I found you weren't in your room, I was worried to death. Clothes and all this muck on your face. They may make you feel grown up, just in there. To you, I am. And if the rest of your friends are like this dancer, Greta, that you were telling me about. She's no friend of mine. Ask Nicole about her. Leave Nicole out of this. That couldn't suit me better. But you've been to this cafe again, haven't you? Oh, I've been going to that corny heart and flowers routine. Don't stay out late, dear. Little girls get into serious trouble if they mix with strangers. Men are not to be trusted. Jennifer, I'm trying so hard to understand you, but we seem to be out of touch with each other. That's no news to me. But you're my daughter, my own flesh and blood. I do really love you, you know. You don't love me. You think you do. You said it so often you made yourself believe it. You don't really ever look at me. Not really. None of you squares ever do. You see what you want to see. A bunch of teenagers lumped together under one label. But who are us? Nothing to do with our parents. I am me, Jennifer Linden. A 
a complete, whole, independent, living person. At one time or another, all of us need to be dependent on someone. Our trouble is we haven't been a complete unit. But now things are different. Why don't you give it a chance? I prefer it this way. I've been pretty lonely, Jennifer. Well, look what it's done to you. Dried you up. So you only get a kick out of that crazy city of yours. What's this got to do with me and my life? And where do you get your kicks from? Sitting around in cafes listening to gramophone records? Jiving in underground cellars and caves? You are a real square, aren't you? This language, these words, what does it mean? It means us. Something is ours. We didn't get it from our parents. We can express ourselves, and they don't know what we're talking about. It makes us different. Why do you need to feel so different? It's all we've got. Next week, boom. Up goes the world of smoke. And what's the score? Zero. So now, while it's now, we'll live it up. Do everything. Feel everything. Strictly for kicks. You'll find there's more to life than kicks, as you call it. Oh, please, cut out the message. People like you build cities. But you don't begin to understand the first thing about us who will have to live in them. you better go to bed now, Jennifer. I'm not going to try to argue with you anymore tonight. But remember this. If you're not going to try, I'm afraid I can't. It's up to you. Heads you win, tails I lose. It's always the same thing. I hate the lot of you. I hate you! I hate you! Well, this is a bit too much. The old creep downstairs and now you up here. I wanted to talk to you. And the same dialogue, too. Go on. Why don't you ask me where I've been to? <laughs> That's easy. The old big club. Guess again. Somewhere much more interesting. Jennifer, what is all this for? Oh, listen. Before you break my heart, I'd like to go to bed. Do you think I want to sleep half the night? Huh. I should have thought you'd be used to it. What do you mean? Most strip joints open until early hours, aren't they? Especially in Paris. What is this trip is nonsense? Oh, you're not still sticking to that old Barry story, are you? The Jam Great has quite a different angle. You haven't been to that club, have you? Ah. You're with me at last, stepmother. Les Girls, the sultry, saucy Soho striptease, starring Greater de Paris, La Reine du Striptease. Strip, strip, bois. How do you like my French? I had a French governess. Great and I had a long chat. She told me how I worked together in Paris. And what else? That's funny. Those are the same words her boyfriend Kenny used. What else, he said? What else did you both do in Paris? Is there more? Jennifer, what are you trying to find out? What have I done to you? Dig this and dig this real. I won't have you spying on me. Keep out of my life and I keep out of yours. Spying? I wanted to be friends. And dig this, too. I'm no part of my father's life, and he's no part of mine. And that goes for you, too. We can't live like strangers under the same roof. It's all wrong. Why can't we be friends? I'm warning you. Take it off, take it off, said the boys in the rear. La, 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 la. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Forgive me. I wasn't going back to Greater to find out the rest. I was just warning you to keep out of my life. Now, I've changed my mind.
for the audition? Okay. Good luck. nice what you did last night darling but it isn't quite what we want in a club like this now please will you try it again tease darling tease how about bright and sunday i don't like winkles what do i do with this Try it again. Please, will you? Take an old friend here. If she's in, I'll see. Michael. Well. Greta, I'm sorry about the coffee bar. I was so surprised to see you. That's all right. I understand. I was angry at first, but... Oh, well, that's life. So you're married? Is he nice? I love him. I hope he's worth it. Greta, the girl came here. Jennifer, my husband's daughter. Yes, I told her I knew you. Kenny made me. Kenny? Yeah, he runs this place. And me. You see, I haven't changed. What else did you tell her? Nothing. Nick, I'll keep her away from here. Kenny. You wanted to see me? There was a young girl in here last night, seeing Greta. And? Leave her alone. Oh. May I ask who you are? Her stepmother. So that's what Nicole looks like. You've come up in the world, haven't you? I can come down to your level if I have to, Mr. Kinney. So just listen to me. If that child comes in here again, you're going to send her home. And if I don't? I'll tell my husband. He'll go straight to the police. To begin with, the girl's underage. And with an expert like you, I'm just not taking the risk. Do we understand each other, Mr. Kinney? Will your husband also understand when he finds out what his wife and her good friend Greta got up to while they were in Paris? Can you please? And how they managed between jobs. Why did you tell him, Greta? For goodness sake, why did you tell him? Your stepdaughter will be very welcome here any time. Jennifer? Jennifer?
so you sit and they are so cool. I like your juice from the upper school. Learn such a pretty side, like a stick of dynamite, sitting on a coffee bar stool. You're a gap to that's a bath, and I never can relax till I've made you. Baby, come on. Well, I feel such a crazy clown. You're the biggest thing in our town. Come on, honey, it ain't fair. I'm never getting anywhere. How do I melt you down? Well, you're a gas that's the fast, and I never can relax till I've made you. Yeah, make with an apple. Every time I make a play, baby, you just run away. I never made first place. Are you a guess that that's the fact? And I never can relax till I've made it. Great, Dad. Great. Straight from the fridge. I'm way out. Ah, uh, this group's not so hot. Let's go and listen to the other one. Medicines need gin. Got any more? So that's what the cough was in aid of. Crumb. You'll have to do better than that. Where'd you get it? I pinch it from the sideboard. Have a dry martini, General. Or is yours a pinker than me, old lemon? What's the matter with you, boy? Why do you need that? Drinks for squares, man. Kid stuff. Oh, some dump this is. It's like the war, way down in the underground. There she was, my old lady, snug as a bed bug, in the dark on the floor. That's where she had me. She was bombed out, so that's where we live. Like a bunch of scared rats underground. That's the first home I ever had. My mother came up to London to be with the old man on his leave. One day, a doodlebug. The house just went boom. She went with it. The old man, of course, was a hero. A live one. The desert, Italy, with uh, D-Day to come. Stiff upper lip and all that. Don't cry for your mother, boy. It's not manly. When it was over, I played on the bomb sites. Down in the cellars amongst the rats. Yes, I tell you, man, this is a home from home for me. From then on, it was strangers. Morning, noon, and night. Strangers. I know about strangers, too. Oh, well, like rats in a hole, that's us. The rat race rock. I belong here. I feel good. This is my life. That's because you're a number one female rat. They'll never understand. Look, whatever you want to do, it's always... You're too young, son. You want a neck in the park? I'll go home, son. Home? With the general and his whiskey and soda and his those were the days. <laughs> Who wants the neck at home? Gives me the screaming ad dabs. We could neck here. He doesn't mean necking. Yes, I do. I do. That's just what I mean. Lips to lips, hips to hips. You keep me horizontal. Be your big, big love for you. Uh, nuts. What would you stop for? It was great. I was swinging. Oh, fade out. No, Dave, maybe you're right. Maybe this place does give me the flying heebie-jeebies. Let's have a party. What? Party? At my place. The old man's album's lots of records. Hey, Cinderella. 
What about the wicked stepmother? She can fly away in her room. Hey, not Kate. Still like a run? To where? James Pay. Where's that? 22 Exeter Street. Do you hear that, slum dwellers? That's Kensington. Ooh, swing. I feel a race coming on. And I'm a race. Oh, boy. <laughs> I feel a big wing coming, man. I'm in the mood. Can I drive? Oh, sure. It's all yours. when you bet it isn't over yet hey there's a train coming let's play chicken on the road Ah, uh, who wants their arms around an iceberg anyway? Iceberg?
Phony, just like an iceberg. Am I? That's the ice is melting.
And you get out of here. Now, Frenchie, darling, you're getting stroppy. Don't claim you haven't seen a dog pill before. Be a nice Paris poodle. I said get dressed. Hey, hey, could I ever? Cut out the watch comedy routine and show us a trick or two in French. That was a liberty, lady. Quite a liberty. Now, when I slap, it's no fuss with a chicken's claw. Come off it, Dave. Get him out of here before I call the police. Out you go. Out! Nobody's leaving. I said the party's over. Drop dead. It's my house now. Do as I please. It's your father's house. I'm his wife. And you do what I said. Now put on your blouse and get away from that door. Mm -hmm. I said get away from that door. Devil's going on here. There'll be a party. So it seems. Jennifer, get your things on. Who are these people? Jennifer, thanks, boss. Now get out of it, all of you. Get out of my house. Take that muck off your face. Bring that riffraff in here. What sort of a place do you think you're turning this into? That's a big laugh. Why didn't you ask yourself that question when you brought that woman in here? Stop. The ballet. You and Great and your boyfriend. Tell him how much you were paid. Jennifer. And if she doesn't know that much, English, go and ask Greater. Don't, Paul. Jenny, I. Nonsense. Nicole, tell me it isn't true. All that scripted business is childish. Greta and I did that in cabaret, but... I don't mean that. You know, I don't mean that. The boyfriend? Customers. If you prefer. Yes, that is true. My wife. But why? How? You lied to me. How have I lied to you? Did I tell you I was a virgin before I married you? Oh, God. I never told you. Is that lying? No. Maybe it isn't. But you've got to tell me the truth now. Oh, yes, I tell you. Arouse my father. I walked out. I was hungry, but I was too proud to go back. Greta showed me the way. It is not easy to stay respectable on an empty stomach. Poor Greta. I was the lucky one. You came along. You came along. All I ever wanted. for the body snatches. <laughs> the joint's dead all right. Everything's so dreary. I'm bored. Come on, live dangerously. Come on, Jen, dance with me. Let's live it up.
What's your hurry, baby? Where'd you pick up that rubbish inside? She saw him in the light and took off. On your way, kid. You're underage. Take another look. Remember me? Okay, you win. Then you go. I didn't say for certain. Oh, I'm not making any complaints. It's a woman's privilege to change her mind, especially if she's beautiful. You don't look so surprised. Is it news to you that you are beautiful? Seen certainly with your father. Oh, I forget them. They drive into me like a big headache. In any case, I'm on my own. I've just walked out. And came here? No, thank you. The gang gave me the heebies. I felt a flat. Well, naturally, what could those children possibly do for you? You need a little help, don't you? So one way and another. You Any complaints? You think you own the bloody streets, don't you? I'm not fighting. Fighting's for squares. Not worth a bundle. Come on. And what are those tickets doing on Kenny's desk? You've been going through Kenny's private papers. Now, is that nice? Who's going to Paris and when? Kenny feels he needs a change. A change? Let's face it, Greta. This is it. You got your cars and your coppers. The replacement's arrived. He didn't even have the guts to tell me himself. Well, Kenny's got a lot in his mind. He's got his hands full, as you might say. They were in the, uh, in the cafe. When we first went in. Yeah. Look, that's our generous crowd, isn't it? Where's Jennifer? I don't know. She walked out on us. 
Percy, I'm not such a dangerous man, am I? Two tickets. Paris, last play on Saturday night. You could forget all about those cheap thrills. You might even have your name up in lights on the Champs Elysees, and that really means something. Does the idea appeal to you? My God, Jennifer. Just a minute. There must be a back entrance somewhere. It's all right, officer. It's my daughter. So you're her father, are you? Yes. But if it weren't for my pension, I'd wallop her. You'd better take over. Meanwhile, I'll have some particulars. You'll find us here if you want us. Only squares know where to go. 